Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we will see characteristic elastic and plastic curve for a rolling mill. So this curve basically tells you about the uh, what is the roll gap which we need to put so that we will get a final thickness of HF if the initial thickness of the sheet or the plate is H0. So it, it basically gives the roll gap which we need considering the facts of the elastic deformation of the rollers and the plastic uh, deformation of the material that is the shape okay so what is basically a rolling mill in rolling mill we have got uh, the rollers this is the roller one uh, roller two and in between we feed the sheet and with initial size h naught and it is getting reduced to hf now this plastic curve which we have here this plastic curve follows the equation p is equal to 2 by root 3 sigma naught 1 by q to the power q minus 1 b root under r delta h so p is directly proportional to so you can see here so p is p is directly proportional to q and q is directly proportional to mu so as the friction the friction between the sheet and the roller increases the rolling load increases okay and also as we increase the delta h like uh, if you want to reduce more then in that case also the rolling load increases okay uh, here we'll see that to get HF this is the plastic rolling load curve okay and this is the elastic deformation elastic deformation curve so whenever these two curves join at a point and corresponding to that if you draw a vertical line to the x-axis which gives the final thickness which we will get okay and and the corresponding rolling load or the value of load gives you the rolling load at that uh, roll gap or at that final thickness which we will get okay now suppose now suppose the friction between the sheet and the roller increases then what will happen to this characteristic curve suppose initially the curve was like this so this is p versus thickness okay so in this case the curve will move outward to the right okay and the elastic curve of the roller will be same okay so the final thickness this was expected the hf but we will get the final thickness as hf dash okay now suppose we want this hf like we want uh, the same the same final thickness uh, given that we have increased mu okay so in that case we will have to decrease the roll gap so how will it decrease if we we'll decrease this roll gap so that okay this will meet at this point point a let it be okay so this point corresponding to when you draw a vertical line then this will correspond to sorry this will correspond to hf only so initially the roll gap one roll gap was r1 and second time it is r2 so from r1 to r2 then we will get hf edge final thickness and mu has been increased okay so if the 
coefficient of friction increases then we will have to reduce the roll gap to get the same final thickness okay now suppose the uh, when plastic curve shifts to the left side now here if you see this is the initial one and it has shifted to the left side and this is the elastic curve so what will happen to the final thickness so this one this one was at hf initial and final will be hf dash okay so we'll get lesser final thickness so to get that one the same so we will have to increase the roll gap basically so if, if we will increase the roll gap then so that this will cut at this point point a then we will get the final thickness as hf only so initially it was r1 and second time it is r2 okay so from r1 to r2 if we increase then we will get hf as final thickness okay so this is the use of characteristic elastic and plastic curve so thank you all